Hello, hello, it's Kate Bolt, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in the UK. And I'm back for another fun Friday. Not live this week, I'm afraid, because I'm away from my desk. But I thought I would bring you some more fun projects using the design, or oh, a quick fun project using the Dandy Designs. Papers from Celebration, they are absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I have been loving using them. I, um, my class this month, um, is based on my face-to-face in-person monthly class. It's based on this cute elephant parade stamp set. I absolutely love this. And for this quick card today, I have paired it with the Dandy Designs Designer Series papers that are free with Celebration, and they are absolutely gorgeous. If you don't have a Celebration brochure, you live in the UK and you would like one, and you don't already have a demonstrator as well, do let me know. I'll pop one in the post to you and any other catalogues you might want. Right, let's get cracking. I had a bit of fun with this card and I pulled out some of the papers and decided what colours I was going to use. But look at all the beautiful colours in these papers. They are stunning. Now, I used them in my coffee and cards on Friday. No, today's Friday. On Tuesday, um, I made some fun wobble cards. Uh, so definitely um, check that out um, on my channel. That's this week's coffee and cards. But you can see all the beautiful colours and all the gorgeous designs there are 48 sheets there are 12 double-sided designs 12 by 12 papers and you get four of each of the designs and they're gorgeous i mean they're so useful for so many different things um yeah so class this month i've used them some videos have used them so i'll be sharing projects using these all over the place so check out my Instagram, check out my YouTube if you are interested for some inspiration, that is. Anyway, let's crack on. So I picked out this gorgeous paper here and it has Coastal Cabana and it has Balmy Blue. And I think that's it. I think it's just different shades of that on that one, on the white. Because the colours in the paper are Balmy Blue, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Fresh Freesia, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody and Petal Pink. So I picked this one out and out of the colours, I picked my favourite colour of all, which is Coastal Cabana. I absolutely love this colour. If anyone knows me, you'll know I absolutely love it. So that's the colour I picked out. OK, so I've gone with my card base in this um, and that is an A4 card. I've scored it in half at 10.5 centimetres and then cut it in half at 14.8 centimetres. And then I took another piece, a layer, which is just slightly smaller, exactly the same colour cardstock, and I've made it 10 by 14.3, so I've just shaved half a centimetre off two sides. And I've run it through this embossing folder. This is the Hive 3D embossing folder. It's so cool. I'm going to be using this with a Queen Bee stamp set soon. It's so cool. So I've run it through already. Blue Peter style. If you live in the UK, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> Here's the one I made earlier. Da -da. And there it is. Look how detailed that hive embossing folder is. So that's adding some texture to, um, and depth to my card. Love that. I'm going to put it straight on. And I'm going to use my Tombow glue because the liquid glue gets in all the nooks and crannies and helps it stick nice and smooth and flat rather than anything else. It's really good. And you've got all those knobbly bits. So I hope you're all well. Sorry I'm not live today. Um, I hope you're all well and you're going to have a lovely weekend. And uh, you've got some crafting planned or something nice planned. Do let me know in the comments if you've got anything nice planned with the weekend. So the other thing with the, with the Tombow glue is if you don't stick it down particularly straight, you've got a few seconds to rearrange it to make sure it's right just like I did then so I've now got this nice textured panel on the front to add some interest and then I popped in a panel a panel of the DSP just a short piece now I have written down what I put there and on that is nine and a half by ten centimeters that panel and I just pop I'm just going to pop that on there that's what I'm going to do and then I thought mm, I need a little bit more here so I had actually this piece I think it was like this anyway and I just chopped it chopped it so you know another piece doesn't really matter and the other side is balmy blue and I'm going to cut it in half and show you what I'm going to do with it let's grab my tree 
I love this balmy blue. This is probably my favourite piece in the whole whole sweet a whole pack of papers, but I'll probably use every single one of these papers. No lying there. Okay, now my dog just let himself into the craft room. And I do love his company, but he's not learned to close the door behind him yet. <laughs> oh no, it's all a bit silly, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more colour to the card by just tucking. Any of you scrapbookers out there? You'll know what I mean. You take a piece of pattern paper, you find another piece and you tuck it behind, add a little bit more colour, add a little bit more something else. So I'm just going to do that because I think that'll add something to it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to stick it down. Um, again, in with a Tombow because of the embossed layer. I've already got gluey fingers. <laughs> oh. So, if I bring that in, in the middle, sort of around here, doesn't have to be too accurate. It's just a layer to add some interest. Pop this back on here so I know that's it. I know how it fits. Now we've got the Tombow so we can move it slightly before it sets. Like that little line showing there. So that's it. I've got that. Make sure it's straight though. There we go. And then to do the same with the other piece on the bottom. This is such a quick card, especially if you have all your elements ready to go. We're going to use those elephants. You can put anything on this card layout, to be fair. This could have any stamped and die cut image and um, any sentiment, really. It's just a, it's not a sketch, but you could make it into one. All right, so just bring it in like that. So we've got like a panel on a panel. Now, I'm not going to pop this piece up on dimensional foam pads. If I was going to do that, I'd probably layer it on a piece of cardstock to give it some rigidity. But I'm just going to stick it down because that's what I want. And then I'm going to put my elephants on it. Oh, I didn't get out a piece of... Oh, I have got a spare piece for my sentiment. Right, let's pop that on there. Uh, yeah, a bit like that, I think. There we go. Don't worry about that line, let's just pop it on straight. There we go, that's what I want. So I've got my kind of layers, very simple layers. Okay, and I've got a very gluey hand now, because I managed to get it everywhere. All right, not a problem. So the next thing I'm gonna do is grab a piece for the inside. Make sure I've got that ready. So that piece is 10 centimetres by 14.3. Leave that there ready for stamping. And I've got a scrap piece where I'm going to do my stamping and die cutting. So what we need to do is grab out our stamps. So I've gone for this fun elephant from the Elephant Parade stamp set. I've gone for the leaves. Um, there's a little flower. And there's a butterfly. So we're going for that. Um, here it is again. It comes as part of the stamp die bundle. Um, and it's got three elephants. It's got the leaves, the flower, the butterfly. It's got a fun little mouse, some little nuts. It's got a balloon and some really nice sentiments on there. So let's just get my memento ink out. Ooh. And ink up our elephant. We want one elephant. <laughs> like so. We want two of the leaves. Like so. Like that. We want three butterflies. And we would like a flower. Now when you are die cutting these out, the dies are fantastic because they have two butterflies, so it makes the cutting out so 
a bit easier. Here are the die sets called the elephant dies. So there's the three elephants, there's the leaves, there's the balloon. There are two butterflies, there are two nuts. There's two sets of extra leaves that emboss them. There's the flower shape and you've also got the mouse die. You've got a bow, two bows. So you can do it much more quickly through your cutting machine if you have extra dies like that. So I'll show you the colours I've used to colour in our elephant. I'm going to do it quite quickly. So I've got three colours. Well, two, I've got the dark and light shades of smoky slate in our blend pens. And I've got the dark petal pink. And I'm using the dark petal pink just for the inside of his ear. I'm just going around like that. That's it. Now I have coloured a lot of these elephants in over the last few days. A dark... Um, smoky slate and I'm going to do his little hooves his hoof nails do they have toenails elephants or hoof nails or they're just hooves who knows <laughs> tell me if you know okay we are going to do a little bit of shading on his trunk I'm going to do a little bit on his back I am not the world's best colourer so don't feel you have to be especially with these pens they do it for you so there we go. I've just done his tummy, kind of where you think he'd have a bit more shading. And we're going to go in with the light smoky slate and just fill in the rest. Makes a bit of a squeaky sound. Here we go. All right, and just do it out over his ear, all over. make sure you fill it all in and where the dark and the light meet just blend it together with some circular motions and eventually that line will completely disappear and you'll have a nice kind of blended gradient for the different tones of the grey. Just go over that a bit more. Make sure I don't colour his eye in. Blend that in. And then the rest of him. So easy. There we go. So there's our elephant. So that's the colours I've used and how I did his shading on his tummy and his head and everywhere else back. And then I used, for my leaves, I brought in the colours similar. I don't have... Coastal Cabana in the blends and I'm not sure if we do them. I need to check because I thought I had all the blend colours. So I've brought in Mint Macaron. Um, but use what you have. But obviously the great thing about stamping up is that you can match everything with no extra work. So here we go. I'm going to go down the spines of the leaves with a dark Mint Macaron. Like this. But I'm not going to do it all. I'm just going to kind of show you. And then with the light, I'm going to shade it, same as I did the elephant. And you get this like, this really nice kind of green. And it's the Mint Macaron Dark and Light blends. Like that. So there we go, we've got those. So just you just finish those off and then you colour in I used Highland Heather and I used um, the Petal Pink for my butterflies and I used the Highland Heather and the Petal Pink for my flower and I've already finished colouring those in and I have die cut them as well. Ta -da! So here's some I made earlier, so there's my elephant, there's my leaves, I have two. Here are my flowers. And I brought in the Highland Heather colour there with the petal pink for the butterflies and also for the flower. If I can pick it up because it's so little. There we are. There they are, all ready to go. So we're going to put them on the front of our card. So he's going to go up on stamping dimensionals, which I've got a few here. But I'm going to work out exactly what we want to do with him. So I would like him to kind of be sat here. 
I want my leaves. He's going to be peeking out over the top of those leaves. And can you see how the colours of the leaves kind of tone in with the, the paper? So I want him to be peeking out. Um, I want enough room for a flower to be coming off of his trunk. So I might need to bring the whole thing down slightly. So that's why it's good to like work your layout, layout out, out. And then a few of these little butterflies just flying about like this like this Have it any other way, any old way you like so that's the idea and then at the bottom i'm going to put the sentiment so i might bring it back up slightly because i want to put my sentiment and i still want to see the dsp underneath so I'll bring it up a little bit where i had it right time to stick my elephant down i think yeah i popped him up on foam pads so I'll put my finger where I had him, Oop. pop the elephant on, <laughs> he's super cute. Now you can make a birthday card, you can make any kind of card to be honest. Right, let's pop him up, I'm going to pop you two on there, but I want to see his... Oop. I want to see most of the elephant, so I'm going to bring that down a bit. And I think I'll get my mini dimensionals out and put them along the base of the, the leaf. These mini dimensionals are fabulous. You get the same sheetage as you do in the large ones for the same price. But you just get, obviously, tons more because they're smaller. And uh, they're brilliant because obviously you don't have to cut anything up. You don't have to cut up bits of dimensional. So perfect, if you ask me. So I'm just putting it along the bottom and then it kind of sits at the same height. Put the sticky bits along the bottom so it sits at the same height as the elephant does. Onto this piece. I'm not sure if I've got this done right because I've got to put my sentiment on, but we'll see. We shall see. Da, da, da. Here it goes. And I'm just going to overlap them slightly. Definitely covering up his underneath. I'm not sure if I want to, but it's all right. It's all good. Okay, before I do these bits, I'm going to do the sentiment so I know where I'm at. Right, so let's grab this piece. Because um, I'm going to use that as my scrap. And I have got what a happy day, but I think I might change it and put sweet little one. Should I? What should I put on the front of here? Sweet little one. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? So, yeah, let's take this one off and put sweet little one. In Memento Ink, I'm going to use the top of my piece of card and pop it here. That helps me work out where I want it to go. So I also use my grid paper a lot to line things up. I don't know if you guys do that too. I'm going to stamp it and see how well it stamps. Yeah, that stamps fine. So... Oh, my E. Let's do that one again. I think I've put too much pressure on my um, stamp into my ink pad. So let's not do that. That's better. So I'd splooged it. You don't need to splooge it. Yes. Hooray. So just in black onto the Coastal Cabana cardstock. And then we're just going to cut it out. So let's make a, a strip like that. And we're going to have it like that. So we've literally got a little panel. I might, I might cut it down a bit more, but we're just going to see what it looks like. So it's going to go on here. So I'm going to cut that down slightly. 
to make it fit. And also we've got a lot of dead space at the top of that. So this isn't a measured. It's gone by eye in my trimmer. Yeah. And underneath so that um, it fits. And it's always a lot easier to stamp and then cut rather than stamp, uh, cut a panel and then stamp and it doesn't fit well. There we go, sweet little one. Yes, so cute. So cute. And so it's going to sit on top of there. So yet again, I'm gonna use a couple of those tiny weenie dimensionals. Let's use three of those. And we're gonna have them right at the very bottom of the panel. Like that. So line them up so they're straight because then you have them at the bottom. Just do it that way would be easier. Don't want it hanging off because you'll see it. Nice. So these papers are great to make backgrounds for cards. Absolutely brilliant. Just do a few layers. Add your die, your die cut or your panel or whatever it is you want to do, your topper, and you're done. It's a sweet little one that's going to go here. <laughs> I really like this. You can add more glue. I'm not going to add any more. I think I've got enough. But you could put some behind the tops where it sits on the leaves. Sweet little one. Okay, so we've done that. So the next thing we need to do, I'll take that out for a minute, is put our little flower coming from his trunk i wonder if one of these dimensionals is too big because i may even have to cut one of those oh no it fits yeah it fits and i don't, i can't really see it so that's a bonus so let's pop it there so he's holding this flower <laughs> that's so cool isn't it and we're going to stick the butterflies on and just have them kind of flying around wherever you want them to go. I think I'll have this one over here, this one over there. So a little bit of Tombow. Here we go. Alfie's snoring. That's my dog. <laughs> I think he is. So this would be a great new baby card. Obviously these are brilliant, these elephant, card, uh, elephant stamps. You don't have to use them for new baby. I've made lots of different cards using them. Um, but it obviously really lends itself to a new baby card so on the inside here we go sweet little one I think I am going to put um what did I do with it here it is oh happy day what a happy day um and I should actually stamp it in the right colour. So let's stamp it in Postal Cabana because it matches. So give that a clean on my, look how dirty my chamois is. Is yours like that? <laughs> but um, when I say it's dirty, it's clean, but it's stained and it works fabulously regardless. Okay, let's do it. What a happy day. Lovely, look at that. Now, I'm going to stamp the elephant. Where are we for time? 24 minutes. I'm not going to um, colour him in on camera because 
Yeah, that would just be a little bit dull for you to watch me colour another, another elephant in. But I'm going to stamp him and then off camera later on, I will colour the inside elephant in and finish it off like that. And then it'll be posted up on my Instagram. But yeah, it's always good to have a panel if you're using the, um, obviously if you have coloured cardstock, you need a panel to stamp and write on. But if also if you are using the alcohol markers, they do bleed through. So it's always good to have a panel if you're gonna colour. Okay, let's put some Tombow on. So you can get these beautiful papers in celebration in my online Stampin' Up shop at katebolt.stampinup.net. They are free with a £90 purchase until the end of February 22. Um, and you can also get the elephant stamps and dies there in my online Stampin' Up shop too. They are in the elephant parade. There you go. Do use the host code this month. Um, and I will send you a thank you gift and a thank you card for shopping with me. Oh, I love him. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like him. Thank you for watching me. Um, if you would like to give me a thumbs up, I would love that. That really, really helps me. It helps the YouTube algorithm suggest my videos to people who might be interested. And that in turn helps me a lot. And um, if you're new to my channel, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you like the elephant's um, and if you like the card, I'd love to know. Right, I'll be back, but I'll be live on Tuesday for Coffee and Cards. So I will see you then. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.